Hi guys, Andre from Andre Tech Review and today is not really a review but it's just a problem solving video. TradingView is a charting software program or a website where you can uh, track charts from Forex, crypto, any country in the world virtually and you can set alerts for specific conditions that that you want in your in your watch list. so you've made up a watch list then you want to do certain condition happens in this case with the macd crosses and bearish or bullish you'd want an alert to say that this, this that has happened and uh, unfortunately you could have gone do every single one of these by yourself i mean you have just just on this one there's almost 50 and if i go into my alerts there you see i've got 332 of 400 and uh Doing that manually is a long, tedious program process. So what I came up with is a program called Minnie Mouse Macro. Now all this does is copies your keystrokes that you that you put in. It's completely free, and uh, you can just download that. I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, that's the link. Once you've downloaded it, and uh, I'll open Trading View again. Once you've downloaded it. It just opens, basically opens this, this box. Now in there is the shortcuts um, for hotkeys. And um, I've just made mine one to start the recording, two to stop the recording, and three to, to play back the recording, and four to, to stop the playback. So basically what you want to do is if, if you're going to... First thing I, I do is I take the symbol and I make sure that that is set from A to, to the last one, which I think is W just so that while the macro is running um in case because there's not really a way of seeing how many you actually have in your watch list and uh if you if there's uh only 80 and you make it to 100 you'll see it go over over it'll just keep going back back over the a's again so as soon as you sort of see it's going coming back past your a's you know you've you, you must stop it because it's 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 gone past or and and obviously if it finishes before you get back to the a's you know that you you haven't finished the, the whole thing so it's just better to have it a to z so you take your your first code up then you would open that and you would start record then what you would do is you go to your alert you would take take the alert to i'm just going to do a mac mac d um bullish when the trial close, you can do, obviously do whatever you want to. You go create, then you push the down button, and then you stop the macro, whichever short key you've done. So now it has recorded all your keystrokes. So the, you'll see the last one is, is down. So now you're on the next one, so you just leave it there. But then what you'd need to do is go into the loop and you would need to put in there the number of items that are in your watch list where how many unfortunately there's no way of, of telling how many are in there so you've got to unfortunately guess a little bit if there's another way of knowing how many are in there please let me know in the comments but uh, i'll just do i'll just do a five for now i mean obviously it's not going to be all of them but we don't want to sit here all day so when i go five and i push play it will then do everything that I have programmed into it. And it'll keep just going around and around and around until those five are finished. And the good thing is now, obviously you can't use the computer now, so you can go back and have a coffee and come back and the computer's done all the work for you. As you'll see, it'll just keep going through the whole process. Obviously, the quicker you are with the mouse, the, and obviously it depends on your internet connection as well, the quicker you can go, the quicker this will go. So it'll just keep going. So it's just doing exactly what I've been doing the whole time. My hands are now off the computer. I'm having a cup of coffee and just watching the computer. You don't actually watch. You can just walk away, of course, at two. It'll stop when it gets to five. In this case, you can obviously do that up to... I'm not actually quite sure how far it goes up to 0.999, I guess. And 
and there's done the five. So then if you wanted to, see that so now it's gone back to zero there. So if you wanted to do another five, you just add another five and you just you can just keep going until your list is finished or you can just do it. But I don't, obviously don't want to waste most everybody's time. But now, the other good thing about this whole thing, I'm just going to, you can actually, you can save, you can save the files if you want to, but you're probably not going to do exactly the same thing every single time. But if you, if you use exactly the same strategy and everything over over, you can just create a uh, recording of it. But, uh, you know, it's so easy just to do it before. And um, so if you go into your alerts, there's 338 now, it's because I added the five. But you can then actually from there, if you wanted to, you can rem um, remove all, which is a, obviously it will take every single one of your alerts away. But that's sometimes that's not what you want. Maybe you only want the ones with the MACD in it. And there's the, the, all the ones we did now. There's, there's those five. Uh, well, actually, let's just call it MACD footage. And then it comes up with, see, so all the ones we did, this, did now, they're all there now. And then if you only want to delete those, you can do the exact same thing again. So you can open the same program again. You can then record. And all you are then doing is you're pushing delete and enter if you want to, or yes, and delete and enter. And then I'll just stop the macro. Then if you wanted to delete all of those, you can then just push play. And it'll just carry on. Go oh, sorry, made a mistake. That's only going to be once. Because the loop, I did not put five in. So then you can push play. And obviously this one, you can put as many as you want to in there. You can put 100 in there. It'll only go until, until the five done. Because obviously there is only that many in the, in the actual watch list. Or the, the alerts list. And this is a very simple, very easy way. It's not frustrating, it's just it's so easy to do. And obviously that's that's finished. Now there's no more alerts left in your alerts. And you can just stop there. Because I'm guessing there was probably uh, there was still one to go. So but anyway, that is a very simple, easy way of doing it. This is a really wonderful little software. Um, there's a lot more you can obviously do with it. You can actually look on YouTube if you'd like, and uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more you can do with it. But for trading view, just to stop the frustration, man, this is just so much of a help. Anyway, till later.